Hey, what's up? I'm Jack. I lead growth and coach success here at Superset, and today we're going to go through how to use Superset Sheets. So we're in our program builder right now, and you can see we kind of took what coaches like most about spreadsheets and that it's table-based, and it's also one single canvas, so you're not clicking back and forth between a bunch of different pages. So there's two ways to set up a program in Superset. One's a split program, and the other's a multi-week program. So with this program here, you can see there's not any weeks assigned to it. So what that does is it allows my client to just repeat these three workouts for as long as I keep that program active. This keeps it a little bit lighter for you as the coach, uh, as well as for your clients. However, if I do want to make a multi-week program that someone's meant to complete one workout after another. Uh, the fastest way to do that is just to duplicate this first workout and that'll create uh, a second week. Before we go ahead and start editing this workout, I do want to make some call outs uh, about this controls panel to your right. This is going to show you exactly uh, how this table is going to translate into the client app. It's going to allow you to set some preferences with your table. We want it to be as light as you need it to be so you can hide anything you're not using as well as set preferences for effort unit as well as weight. Uh, and then your appearance is where you can just change the name of the program. You can change the thumbnail for the client to see in the app and so on. So let's open up this preview and start editing this workout. So I'm going to go ahead and start typing in one of these cells. And the really cool thing is that as you start typing, it's going to pull up the full exercise library. We have about 1200 exercises for you to choose from in here. You can click in, see if you like the video, you can upload your own version. It's completely up to you how you want to use the library. You can also add exercises without videos if you prefer. But to finish programming this exercise here, I'm gonna go ahead and say I wanna do three sets of 10. But one main call I wanna make here is the flexibility in the rep cell. So you wanna use this little drop down menu here and that's gonna show you that you can do fixed reps, rep ranges, uh, comma separated reps, which allows you to specify a different number of reps per set as you can see your hair to the right. You can use time based reps. So that'll basically generate a timer in the app with this little blue cell with audio cues just by adding S or M to the end of the number. As well as if you add E, that'll allow you to specify each side in the app. So full flexibility there. Once you get the hang of it, it's really quick and snappy. Um, and then a lot of the same logic works for weight. Um, notes, I would say that most coaches are using this for tempo, but you can add whatever different types of details you prefer. The next thing here is if you wanna add some more structure for you and your clients, you can group some exercises together, either as on base circuits, warm ups, cool downs, or custom. If I do custom, I can name it whatever I'd like. Let's say I want this to be a warm up, I can do that as well. And now we kind of have completed editing this workout. I can add some notes here for the client to read before starting the workout as well. Um, let's go ahead and save this, and now we're ready to assign it to some clients. So I'll hit assign, and what I can do is I can either assign this to an individual, or I can start by creating a group program that's meant for a group of people to be on the same program so you don't have to create edits to multiple different programs if there are a group of people doing the same workout. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and just create an individual program and I'm going to make as many copies of this as I'd like with my clients, but let's say I want to assign it to this client here uh, and then I'm going to continue to their program to make edits specific to them. You can just double check by seeing that their name is up here in the top center and then you also notice there's a new view down here to the left called completed. This is where all the completed workout data is going to populate in that same table-based format that you're used to programming in. So to show you an example of what that looks like. You can see this client here has some completed workout data over the weeks. And the really cool thing about this is you can go back, see their notes, you can click into their exercise history, how many reps and sets they did for however much weight, as well as see if they left any notes in these exercises. So you have notes, they can also upload video notes as well if you want to check their form. So that's everything we've built with the programming tool, Superset Sheets. If you have any feedback or questions, feel free to reach out. We'd be happy to give you a live demo as well. So thanks, bye.